Good morning. Welcome to Cannibaloos. Today I'm going to walk you through how to do my infused guacamole and fresh baked chips. So I'm going to start with these chips to get them moving while I work on my guac. So I'm going to set this to 350, nowhere above 375 degrees. Now, normally if I wasn't doing an infused chip, I'd bake these at about 400, but I don't want my oil to go above 375. So all I do with these chips, I just made this oil this morning. So I will take a big jar of oil. Mm -hmm. Take one tablespoon. Now this is 40 milligrams a tablespoon. So I try to be a little more conservative on this. Just gonna drape it right over those chips and a little goes a long way on this. For my spices, I'm going to use cumin, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and dried cilantro. And that's the same stuff that I'm going to use for my guacamole. So I've got them in these cute little glasses. For convenience, of course. <laughs> and then I have my small oven on today. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to mix these all together. Just kind of try to coat the sides of all your chips. Now you can totally deep fry these, but it is going to be for convenience sake to do them in the oven today. And it's a lot more consistently baked to do it in the oven, so I do kind of prefer that sometimes. So we'll slide these in for about 10 minutes. And then on to our guac. So here I've got some diced tomato, onion, and jalapeno. Now I like to soak my onion for about 10 minutes because it takes off a little of that sharp bite to a fresh um, raw onion. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw, mm, yeah, I'll throw this in first. Take my avocado, slice it in half like that. And then we'll gut it right into there. I like a little chunkier guacamole, but I am a fan of a tomato heavy guacamole. Pop that seed out there. All right, throw this all in the bowl. And then I am going to throw my seasonings in. Again, it's cumin, onion powder, garlic powder and parsley. For my limes, I'm going to roll it in my hands to release some of the juice in it. And then just slice that thing in half. Squeeze it right into your guacamole. Now you might be thinking right about this point, where is the infusion in this? I'm going to just throw some of this oil in it. You guys know I will. <laughs> So I found an awesome unflavored coconut oil. So if you get a little tired of the taste of coconut oil in literally all of your food, I get it. <laughs> I uh, do like coconut oil more than anything though for infusing, you know, it, it's best for heat. It seems to bind really well with the THC. Your coconut oil will thank you and so will your stomach. <laughs> Let me give that a rough chop. I don't know if you can might see in my bowl here. We're getting a nice little blend going. Now, I forgot an extra spoon for my coconut oil, so let me grab one. And then toss in a little love here, guys. We'll go ahead and do one and two. So that'll be an 80 milligram bowl of guac. <laughs> With your chips about halfway through them and I want you guys to flip them so they're cooking evenly on both sides. Oh that smells so good. I love cilantro. I will usually use fresh if I have it in the store. All right and that's it. You can throw in a few more avocados to make it a little thicker. But that's all for our infused guacamole. So like I said, this is going to be 80 milligrams. We've got um, sour band and super glue in this oil. So it's going to be some good stuff. Now let me take, it's only been a couple minutes. These aren't going to be near ready. But I like to use these protein wraps. 
I've been doing low carb lately, so it's seven grams of net carbs in those, 12 grams of protein. So have a blessed day, guys. Eat well and uh, stay medicated. Thank you. Walk around casually. Turn that off.